Let's do a quick walk through this demo code that we are running. And the uh, first thing that we see is that our main class extends the application class. This application class represents the entire JavaFX application. And it holds the entry point into JavaFX application and its name start. So every Java application or class that extends it uh, has to override this abstract method name start. And in this method, we write the entire code for our JavaFX application. I also would like to show you that our main method, the public entry point into this Java program, calls launch method of the application class. This launch method does two things. It internally creates a GUI application thread for running the start method. So every call that touches this application window, every part of the application that has to do something with visible controls or window itself has to be doing this on the GUI application thread. We will talk more about this later on. And after this GUI application thread is created, it makes a call into the start method and all user input events are also occur, of course, on this GUI application thread, including our button clicks, right? So every time we click a button, Java Virtual Machine will dispatch this call to the GUI application thread running internally inside Java Virtual Machine and appropriate uh, button click handler will be invoked. In fact, the first thing that we do here inside our start method, we create a button object. So we call button constructor here, then we set the visible text inside this button, and then we attach the code to handle the button clicks. There are actually two ways to attach a code to the button click handler. The first is commented out and it's using the anonymous class to handle button click event. In order to handle button click event, we have to provide an event handler named handle. This is a method uh, which is part of the event handler JavaFX interface. And so here what we do is that we will receive an event and we simply just print hello world. In fact, in my output window, every time I click this button, the new message is printed right here. But uh, I changed this um, anonymous class possibility uh, to Java Lambda expression, which uses event as an input parameter, and then defines itself as this block of code between those curly braces, uh, where we just simply call this system out print line hello world and print the message. So this is a quick demonstration on what is really happening when we click the button. Some sort of Java code is invoked and this is a sure way to attach this click handler code uh, to the object uh, like a button in our user interface. Also notice that the start method has an input parameter named primary stage, uh, which is of type of stage. Uh, stage in JavaFX represents a window. So remember uh, to watch uh, these uh, YouTube videos to learn about these basic JavaFX classes uh, in detail. So this stage represents our entire application window. But in order to populate its content with all sorts of controls, we have to construct the scene graph. And the scene graph begins with a stack pane. So we create the root entry into our scene graph. And then what we do is that we attach our button, the button that we created with the caption and this action handler, now is attached to the root of our scene graph. And then we construct the scene, which takes the root as a parameter. And I also specified the width and height of our window to just give it a little bit of space. If I didn't use these parameters, then it will look like this. Just tiny little window like this, and uh, it just doesn't look right. So I specify some initial width and height. You can play with all of these parameters on your own computer. We also use the title of our window, and again, the 
primary stage represents the entire window then we set the scene to hold our button and we have to call the show method to make uh, the window visible by default the window is not visible until you make it visible by calling the show method of the stage object in summary this uh, root object is the entry point into a hierarchical tree structure holding the contents of our scene uh, the graph node such as this button could be something like a 2d or 3d shape buttons uh, checkboxes text input controls and so on containers of other components like this uh, stack pane and also audio video and image objects for the multimedia type of content okay so this is our first demonstration of javafx application